in this video, I am going to introduce you to Cosmos 2 large language model from Microsoft. Cosmos 2 is a series of model in which this version 2 is a new model, which does a fabulous job of grounding multimodal large language models to the world. Grounding a model is pretty generic term. When we say grounding a model, it is similar to what we have in Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG. Cosmos 2 is a multimodal large language model. Multimodal means that it can deal with text, images, and few other medium. This model represents referring expressions as markdown links. The model is also compatible with the <coughs> Hugging Face Transformers library and can be used for multimodal grounding. Also, it can be used for multimodal referring, perception language tasks, and language understanding. When we say grounding a model, grounding is a process of using LLMs with information that is use case specific or that is relevant and not available as part of the LLM trained knowledge. It is very important for ensuring the quality, accuracy, and relevance of the generated output. While large language models come with a vast amount of knowledge already, this knowledge is limited and not really tailored and custom to specific use cases. To obtain accurate and relevant output, we must provide LLMs with the necessary information or in other words, we need to ground the models in the context of our specific use case. So this is what grounding is. Now, one of the use case with grounding or in other words, retrieval augmented generation is um, question answering or QA system. For example, when you interact with your chat GPT or any other similar model like Bing chat, it transparently retrieves search results and use them to ground its responses. So that is what grounding is. Anyway, now, now you know what is uh, grounding the model means and what exactly this Cosmos 2 is. Let me show you how you can install it or play around with it. I'm just going to show you the command in one of my notebooks. And for that notebook, I'm using AWS SageMaker and my instance is G4DN XLarge. You can use it on any Linux instance, but you would need a beefy GPU for it. You might also need a lot of other things in order to properly run this model locally uh, because it is quite a happening model, I would say. But in this video, I'm just going to show you a sort of high level. So let me go to my notebook. This is my AWS SageMaker notebook, and I have selected the Conda PyTorch P310 as my runtime. Let me first install some of the prerequisite which we need. So pip install request, transformers, and pillow. Let's wait for it to finish and then we will proceed further. Shouldn't take too long. It is still installing as you can see um, here. It's already installed. Now, these, this is the code which we need to use in order to first import these libraries which we have just installed and then specify the model. So the model is again Cosmos 2 with this patch. And then we are creating the processor for it. And this is a prompt which I got from this hugging face of Cosmos. Now we are passing this uh, prompt. We are opening this image and then saving image and then creating a new image out of it and then passing it to this LLM. And then we will be printing the process uh, text and entities. So let's see if it works or not on my G4 DNX large. I haven't run it yet, so let's see. Let me run it. It is running as you can see. Let's come here and see if it prints anything in terms of model download or not. It is importing it. Let's wait for it to finish. Let's go to the Hugging Face page and see how big the model is. You can file that version. And if you check the safe tensor or bin file, so it is just under seven gigs. Let's see if it is if my system is able to deal with it. Still working. 
let's wait for it to finish. I paused the video and it's been running for the last 15 minutes without any error. So, and now it has just started downloading the model. So I will let it run. Um, and don't no need to type all of these commands. If you go to the Hugging Face page and go to model card and then scroll down a bit. These are all the commands which I'm using. The only thing which I have added is the pip installing the libraries, which let me show you again. If you scroll up, these are the libraries which you need to install first. So let's wait for it to finish and then hopefully it will be able to load onto my one GPU. Model is almost downloaded. As you can see, it is also showing us the ETA of around 10 seconds. Should be done any minute. So it took around under four minutes to download it fully. Should be done any second now. So the model is downloaded. Now let's see if it is it works or not. Let's wait for it to finish. Because after model download is done, the next step is to process the input on the basis of the input image which we have provided. And then you can see that we have some of the parameters here, which are simply the max token, the tension mark, and the usual suspects. And then we are generating the text and processing it and then printing it. So let me go down. So I think it finished. Yep. So you can see that it was able, let me, sorry. So let me first show you the image. So this is the image which we have given it. This was the image which we gave um, to our model. So a snowman just sitting beside the fire. Now go back and see if it was able to decipher it. So you can see the grounding says that an image of a snowman and then warming himself by a fire. Amazing. And then it says an image of a snowman warming himself by a fire. And then it is also printing out the embedding there, which is amazing, all the entities and stuff. Okay, now let me try out another image with it and see how it goes. This is another online image of one of the best beaches in Australia, the Himes Beach, near around two hours from Sydney. So now, and it's a white sandy beach as you can already see with the crystal clear turquoise water. Let's see if, it, if our model, the Cosmos 2, is able to decipher it. Go back to our notebook. And then instead of downloading the whole model again, all, all I have done is that I have taken the prompt, given the URL of this image, which I just showed you, and I'm passing it to the model. Also make sure that this new image, which was previously generated in the notebook, you have deleted it. Now let's run it. And on the left hand side, you can see that it has created the new image. And there you go. An image of a white sand beach with turquoise water and blue skies. Amazing stuff. So let me show you the blue skies, turquoise water, amazing stuff. So let me give it the final image. In the final example, I'm going to take this image from Andy Warhol, the silly Mona Lisa. And this is the image which I'm going to give to the model. So you can see that I have just pasted the image here. And now let's run it. Let's see what the image does, if it is able to recognize Mona Lisa or not. It is actually an image of the Mona Lisa with her mouth held in her hand. So this is it. You can see that how cool this model is. It is able to um, detect a lot of images easily, even if the images have a twist, just like I did with the Mona Lisa. So amazing stuff. So this is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, and you can use these commands on any Linux instance with a good GPU. And if you want to use it on Windows, uh, I would suggest you install Windows uh, Shell or maybe even Git Bash and try it out there. Anyway, if you are stuck, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help out. And if you have any thoughts, comments, also please share them. I would love to hear it. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps. Thank you very much.